Hi guys, my name is Kam Sinamani. I'm a full-time YouTuber, content creator, and influencer. And in today's video, I'm going to be sharing my beauty hacks while we do my makeup together. Okay, so let's begin. Skin prep is so important. Skincare in general is very important. But when I am doing my makeup, I don't really go too much with the skincare because it is expensive. So I just go with the usual moisturizer, sunscreen, and then I start with my makeup products. So right now I am using the Snail Mousine um, All-in-One Cream and I love this so much. Instant hydration. It's crazy. After this, I go over with my sunscreen. Sunscreen for today is the La Roche Posay sunscreen. Sunscreen is so important. Um, if you're always confused as to how much sunscreen you should apply on your face, you can use like your two fingers. You apply it here and there. I didn't do that, but you know, don't follow what I'm doing. Just follow what I'm saying. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Our face is prepped and ready. So my first, I guess, beauty hack would be less is more, especially if you're a content creator like me and you need to always be in front of a camera, but you don't want to look too glam, but not dead, <laughs> I guess. So it's like a no makeup makeup look, you know, the makeup that men think is no makeup because oh my God, I love my, that's, that's the makeup we're doing today. I recently microbladed my brows, which honestly, is another hack because it makes things so easy i would typically have my lashes on lash extensions but they're all out so we're gonna be sticking with our natural lashes but having my it's still healing but whenever i do this it just makes the process 10 times easier and kind of natural looking i'm not even gonna fill it out i'm just going to outline my brows so they look a bit Defined and to do this, I'm using I'm mixing the Younger Beauty concealer and my NARS foundation. This concealer is close to my skin tone, which is so important. It's always good when you have a concealer that's close to your skin tone, it gives more of that natural look because it doesn't look like it's not your skin. I have been a content creator now since 2017, which is about how many years now? I think six years. And I always get some questions like, how, how did you give up? How, like you don't experience burnout, all of that. And I do experience burnout. I think that every creator experiences burnout. It's just part of the, the process. If you're doing something over and over again, at some point you will get tired of it or run out of ideas i guess and one thing that has helped me is accepting that like taking out time to actually step back review and get back in and another thing i feel that has helped is letting my content evolve with me so when I started out, I was actually into makeup. <laughs> Fun fact. I wasn't allowed to use makeup till I was in uni. So I think I got this rush, this high, like, oh my God, I'm finally being able to use <laughs> to use this. And after like, it was like a year, close to a year, I didn't want to only come on the camera if I was applying makeup. I just got bored and I allowed myself evolve and change my content and i moved to lifestyle because i felt that just made more sense to the point i was at and still am at and then from lifestyle i now went into homemaking and interior design when i move into my place which is where i'm right now and, and i think that's what will really help so don't keep your content stuck in one place or where you started from when your life is completely different go with it just flow with it and your audience will connect with you more based on that okay done with brows very easy quick i'm now going to conceal my chanel bags my under eye 
this concealer is close to my shade so it's not too bright but it does the job I also apply some on my eyelids now you could literally just give it as this and drum straight to bronzer but for the sake of this video and what I honestly just did I apply this little bit of foundation around the parameters my face you can call this technique under painting but this is just like a lighter version of that if you're trying to make your makeup always blend to perfection spray at every point I don't take it to where I applied my concealer cuz why would I undo what I just did if you have tinted moisturizer that can work as well but I don't so I just use my NARS foundation because it's quite light I'm going to go with the Laura Mercier powder with the triangular powder puff to just set the under eye because this is also translucent and white to also brighten it up but my normal makeup routine I would have gone with a lighter two lighter concealers to really give that made up look but because I'm trying to achieve the no makeup makeup look less is more now we're set I'm going to go with my hula bronzer I'm not going to go with like a contour or anything because again no makeup makeup this just gives like an airbrushed um, fill and adds more warmth to my face I think one of the misconceptions about youtubers is that we don't necessarily like practice what we preach especially for the lifestyle type youtubers or like you know self-development type content and i can't speak for others but i definitely practice what i preach i also feel if you're following someone for a bit of time you can always tell if this person is about what they're talking about now we're done with over to blush i'm using this zyron blush in the shade Negroni just to add some color back to my face I'm just gonna add some bronzer to my eyelids for some definition and drag that down to my nose since I don't have my lashes on I'm going to go with mascara and I'm using the Fenty mascara I don't line my eyes with black liner when I'm doing this look. Instead, I use the mascara for my under, for my waterline, and that gives an illusion of a black liner look. Time to spray. Whew. This just marinates everything. Again, less is more. I'm going to go with this Nivea um, what's this up? chapstick. And the Cosar X Lip Plump. I love these two together. Okay, loves, there you have it. This is my no makeup makeup looks for my content days. So this typically would take me 10 minutes if I wasn't talking and I just get on with my work. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this little get ready with me. This to me is what I see as beauty. I feel beauty is being comfortable in your skin no matter the state. Whether you're fully done up, whether you're like this, or you literally have no single makeup on you. As long as you're comfortable in your skin and you're proud of who you are, that is beauty to me. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.